shot by a feeling Goes beyond the right or wrong Gets me what I want Today we are making some pasta aglio e olio. Uh, aglio e olio. Aglio e olio. Aglio e olio. Aglio e olio. I'm not Italian. Only my stomach. Only my stomach. So this is one of the easiest pasta recipes you could possibly learn how to make. You need what you see here before me. You need some good pasta, you need some Italian parsley, some chili flakes, some salt, some garlic, and some olive oil. I think traditionally it has lemon, but I don't really like that, so I am not going to add it. You know, as far as pasta choices go, this is available on Amazon. I'll put a link to this. It is one of the best pastas you can possibly buy. It takes a little bit longer to cook, but it holds the most amazing texture when it's done. But obviously you don't need to use such an expensive pasta. You can just use any other dried Italian pasta. Just make sure it's from Italy and it's a reputable brand. So we're gonna cook this pasta about 80% of the way through in some salted water, transfer it into a pan that's sauteing with garlic, olive oil, and chili flakes, and then we'll just finish it with some fresh parsley. And it really is the most beautiful dish. The full recipe will be in the description underneath this video, as well as the links for this pasta if you're interested in trying some. If this is your first time meeting me, my name is Sonny Harrell. I've spent the last 16 years working in more than a dozen professional kitchens all around the world. And here on this channel, I'm giving back all my methods, my tips, my tricks, my recipes. I want you to have it, so if you you find value in learning from a professional chef, hit that subscribe button now. Okay, let's get started by dropping our pasta and that's gonna be the timer for the rest of our dish. So I'm using this fusilli called bucho. Like this, you don't have to use this. I think traditionally it's made with spaghetti, but I just love the shape of this pasta. So I'm gonna use this, but you know, you can do this with whatever kind of pasta you want. Straight into our salted water. Always smash your garlic first. It's the first step in Unlocking all that beautiful flavor. Smash it, remove it, take it off any of those woody tops if you need to. And just a quick chop, nice and thin. Parsley, you wanna pick leaves off like so. Okay, once your parsley is picked, best thing you can do for chopping these fresh kind of herbs like parsley or cilantro or whatever, anything, is roll them up so you get a little bit of a bundle and then slice it across as thin as you can the first time. I am gonna run my knife through this a couple more times, which maybe some people will disapprove, but like I said, I wanna get that green looking pasta. That's good for me on the parsley, nice and fine. Set that aside. Okay, now the pasta is about four minutes out from being about 80% done, so we're gonna start our garlic with a laughable amount of olive oil. The name of the dish is pasta with garlic and olive oil, so we're putting a lot. Just as that olive oil is starting to heat up, we're gonna add the garlic. Okay, so our garlic is starting to sizzle. We're gonna add our chili flake. You know, put more or less of this depending on how spicy you want it. So right when our garlic starts to lightly brown around the edges, this is the point where we wanna add our pasta, which is 80% done. And literally, we want that water in there, right? So I don't even, don't even strain. Just straight in. Pasta water. Starting with a cup, and just shake. This is gonna help build the sauce. You 
You know, and if you want this to be like oilier, just add less water, right? I like it to form a sauce, you know, between the pasta, the olive oil, and the water. That's gonna form this beautiful sauce that coats the pasta perfectly. Some fresh ground black pepper going in. Okay, so that's been going for about four minutes. The pasta is just perfect. Got a beautiful little sauce going there. We're gonna add our parsley. Heat is off, by the way. Now the parsley goes in and just toss that in. God, this smells, this smells amazing. I don't have a choice in now. Oh yes, man, I, I love, I love this dish. You guys have to make this, it's so easy. That took me like 20 minutes to make. Let's give it a taste. Smells just delicious, of course, garlicky. These pastas are so cool. Every time I taste this pasta, I'm like, I can't believe there's no butter or cheese in here. It's just so rich. Just this nice little medium level of spice going throughout. All that fresh parsley in the end really gives it this earthiness and makes it for me. And you'll notice all the salt that is in this dish came from the pasta water. I didn't put one little pinch of salt. I measured it all out that way. I wanted it that way. Again, like this, this pasta. Telling you this brand, there's, there's no texture like this. Mm. It's such a good pasta dish, it really is. Make this, make this, make it. And if you are making this and you follow me on Instagram, same name, Cooking with Sunny, when you make a post, tag me in that post. I'd love to get a back and forth going. I'd share it in my stories. I wanna see what you can do. Here's some more great recipes to check out if you wanna keep on cooking, but that does it for today's video, my friend. I hope you got some value out of this content right here. If you liked it, do not forget to leave it a like, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.